Welcome back ladies and gents. In today's video tutorial I'll be looking at 2.3 composite functions. 2.3 represents chapter 2 section 3 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Now, what is a composite function? Well a composite function is just a function made up of two or more functions. Let's write down the definition. Okay, so we know what a composite function is, we know the definition. I'm going to make this idea more clear through a diagram. So, what I'm going to do now is draw a mapping diagram. I've got, first of all, a set of x values. I'm going to transform this set of x values under the transformation f to obtain another set, and this set is the set of f of x values. Now, I'm going to take the set of f of x values and transform it under the transformation g to obtain another set. And this set is the set of g of f of x values. Have a look at this particular notation very carefully. We can see that there's two transformations. There's two functions, g and f. Hence, this over here is a composite function. Now, the composite function g of f of x can be written as g square bracket f of x. What we have inside the square bracket is f of x. That there represents our input. So this is the general idea of composite function. Right, let's have a look at example number one. Given that f of x is equal 3x plus 2, and g of x is equal x squared plus 4, find part a, f of g of x, part b, g of f of x, and part c, f squared of x. Let's have a look at part a. The first step is to write down f of g of x. Now this here can be rewritten as f in square bracket g of x. Let's have a look at this very carefully. We know that the import is g of x, so I can replace that with x squared plus 4. Now I need to look at the function f. Okay. Replace the x with x squared plus 4. Okay. In order to obtain 3 in bracket x squared plus 4 plus 2. What I need to do now is expand and simplify this. So that's what I'm going to do very quickly. I obtain 3x squared plus 12 plus 2, which simplifies to 3x squared plus 14. That there is your f of g of x. Let's move on to part b, g of f of x. The very first step is to write down g of f of x. I can rewrite this as g in square bracket f of x. I'm going to take a step back and look at the input. The input is f of x, which is 3x plus 2. So I have g of 3x plus 2. Now I need to focus on the function g. Okay, I replace the x with 3x plus 2. Okay, so if I do that, I obtain 3x plus 2 in bracket squared plus 4. The thing that I need to do next now is expand and simplify this. So I'm going to do that very quickly. So first of all, if I expand this one over here, I get 9x squared plus 12x plus 4, plus 4 at the end. Now if I simplify this, I obtain 9x squared plus 12x plus 8. That there represents g of f of x, people. Right, let's move on to part c. I want to find f squared of x. The very first step is to write down f squared of x. Now, I can rewrite this as f 
in square bracket f of x. The reason why f of x goes inside because we have f squared. So there's two f's. f in square bracket f of x. Now I can replace the f of x with 3x plus 2. And if I do that, I have f of 3x plus 2. Now you need to focus on f, the function f, which is 3x plus 2. What I need to do is replace the x with 3x plus 2. So the x with 3x plus 2. If I do that, I obtain 3 in bracket 3x plus 2 plus 2. Okay, so what I need to do next now is simplify this and expand. Okay, so if I do that, I obtain 9x plus 6 plus 2. So now I need to simplify. I get the answer 9x plus 8. That there represents f squared of x. Okay, so that completes question number one. Okay, people, let's have a look at example number two. Given that f of x is equal e to the power x squared, g of x is equal 2x plus 1, and f of g of x is equal 4, show that 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus ln 4 is equal 0. Now this particular example looks much more juicy than example number 1. It's time to take out the juice. I like the orange juice, so I want to take out the orange juice. Okay, it's a juicy question. Right, first of all, I'm going to start off with f of g of x is equal to 4. That's my first step. Now, I know that I can rewrite this equation as f square bracket g of x is equal 4. Now, my input is g of x. I know what g of x is. It's 2x plus 1. So I can rewrite this as f of 2x plus 1 equal 4. Now, I need to look at the function f. Okay, here is the function f. I need to replace the x with 2x plus 1. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I can write e, replace the x with 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1 in bracket squared. <coughs> this is equal to 4. Now, I need to expand the bracket. So if I expand the bracket, I obtain 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equal 4. Okay, so we are at this particular equation over here. I want to write this equation in this particular form here. So I need to get rid of the e. Now, the inverse of e is the natural logarithm. So, I can apply natural logarithms on both sides in order to cancel out this e. So, let me do this. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I can cancel out the ln and the e, which brings down the 4x squared plus 4x plus 1, and this is equal to ln 4. Wow! This is looking pretty good, people, because look, I'm nearly arriving to this particular equation here. So what I can do now is take the ln4 to the other side, and if I do that, I obtain 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus ln4, okay? So I can write this as one whole constant, so put brackets around it, equal zero and there you go i have obtained this particular equation that there completes the question if you found this video tutorial useful please don't forget to subscribe and like the video peace